Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and this lab have some minor updates. So here is updated solution for this lab. So first of all, what you do, just simply log in with your credentials and once you're done with that, just simply come back over here, click on this checkbox and then click on this agree and continue. Now just simply wait. Now here, just simply search for the Vertex AI. Open this thing, new tab, come back over here, wait for a second. Now here you can see notebooks and inside that you can see workbench. Just simply click over here, wait for a second now. Now just simply click on this user manage notebook. Just simply click over here and wait for a second. And then click on this open Jupyter lab. Just simply click over here. And it's done. Now click on this generative AI folder. Then click on this language folder and then click on this prompt folder. Just simply click over here. Now here you can see this file intro prompt design file. Just simply double click over here and the file will open. Now if you are using a Windows machine, so just simply press Ctrl A and if you are using a Mac, so just simply press Command A like this way. And once you do that, you can see this converted into sky blue color. Now what you do, just simply click on this run button and then click on this run selected cell like this way. And if you just hover over here, you can just simply track the progress of your kernel. So here you can see the kernel status is busy. So we have to just simply wait until it show as ideal. So just simply wait for at least couple of seconds. And as you can see, finally the kernel status is ideal. Now what you do, just simply click on this example folder like this way and here you can see all these files. You can just simply open any file. So I'm going to open this first file like this way. Now again, just simply do the same thing. If you're using a Windows, so just simply press Ctrl A. And if you're using a Mac, so just simply press Command A like this way. Again, click on this run button, then click on this run selected cell. And from here, you can just simply track the progress. And as you can see, it's done. Now if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and if you just simply scroll down and click on all this check my progress, you will get a green tick over here. Just simply scroll down and click on all this check my progress. Let's see. And as you can see, we get a score for each and every check my progress. Okay. One more thing guys, after waiting for at least five to 10 minutes, if you still not able to get a green tick over here, no need to worry about that. You can just simply come back over here and just simply check the files over here. If you're able to find any kind of error over here, that time what you have to do, instead of running all the commands at a time, you can just simply do one thing. If you just simply scroll down and let's see uh, if you're fixing the issue on this file. Okay. So now what, what you have to do, just simply click over here and you can see this blue icon now what you do just simply click on this play button or you can just simply press shift and enter button to for running that shell okay like this way and if you just simply come back over here and if you just simply check over here and if you are able to find that this kind of error no need to worry about it if you get a green tick on the task number three then you don't have to do any changes in the this file identical file but if you are not able to get a score on the task number three as well then again just simply do the same thing over here instead of running all the command at a time just simply run one command at a time okay and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys.